We are at Sudsbissen on the southern tip of Tromsø Island. So this is a this is a Blue Eye Pro ROV. We are here today to extend the transects that these students from UIT are looking at. So they're looking at ecology on the beach and it would be really good to kind of, you know, studying the intertidal zone on the beach. They're really easy to use, kind of straight out of the box. They're all nicely contained, the batteries inside, so you don't need a power supply. I'm a marine robotics engineer uh, with the Department for Arctic and Marine Biology at the University of Tromsø. Turn the light on. All good. Excellent. Well, it's great for the students because it's so simple to be able to have um, instant camera footage, pretty much. You can get it all connected up. They can connect their phones to the Wi-Fi. They can all see the image underwater on their own screens. I think you should drive because you, you can see the picture. So it's just a very handy thing to bring to local field work for the students to get a quick underwater view. I think the most exciting dive I've had with the drone was a couple of weeks ago. We were doing field work at Enganess, and so we had it down at 300 metres and we saw deep sea coral down there, very, very close to shore. Um, so it was really, really interesting to, to have such a clear image so deep and so easily. X3 is the new generation, next generation of Blue Eye Drone. The exciting thing about the X3 is that it's going to have guest ports on it, which means you can have sensors, you could have different cameras, uh, you could have a manipulator arm. So for example today, if the students see something that maybe they can't identify or through the pictures, they want to take something out, they can use the manipulator and they can bring a sample back. Uh, UIT have already ordered 10 of the X3s. So first we have one Pioneer, which I think was their first uh, model. And then we bought 10 of the Pros. And these are proving so useful that we've decided it's going to be worth having 10 more and that we will upgrade to the X3 for the extra capabilities that they have. And you can see your depth here. So if you want to use your right hand thumb and push that down, you can probably go a little deeper. I think it's really, really helpful to open up what they can see. This makes it really, really easy for students to be able to come and collect some real data, to look at some real live animals in the sea and uh, study where they're living.